image is an experiment really between Diego, Richard Farron, and myself. And the idea was to bring uh, an actor or performer into a room with designers and to conceive of a piece that essentially is non-narrative. So I would say it's kind of the intersection between um, theater and performance art or visual sonic art. It is um, an experience uh, with lights, sound, projection, performance, um, acrobatics perhaps even, and the very nature of time and our human perception and our experiences and how we exist in the world and how we relate to time and space. The interest for me was to create a theater piece with two designers, with Lorenzo and Richard, and, and approach it from a different angle. Approach the whole creation of theater, not from uh, text. So most of our theater, uh, almost everything we've done at Soul Pepper is, is text-based. I can't off the cuff think of a piece that isn't. <laughs> So this piece isn't based, isn't, is, did not begin with, with text. It didn't begin with a story. It began with ideas and, and it began with um, what was proposed as, a, as an initial actual physical piece, which was a cage. And what happens when you have to, when you put that in the middle of a stage, and you put the audience on all four sides. You discover all of the different kinds of worlds that can happen, that can take place. So in a lot of ways, it's like um, experiencing a piece of music or a piece of dance, where story uh, exists where you find it. It's subjective, and but it's about kind of putting together visual and sonic clues to kind of assemble meaning. What's interesting about Cage is it's actually allowing the audience to form their own conclusions and to have their own experiences. It's something that works on every sense, not just sight, sound, but there may be also smell, touch, um, taste, I'm not sure. We're working on that. A lot of the work is based on chance operations, which was a big part of John Cage's methodology. And so chance operations allows us to have and create different shows every time. So the shows won't be the same and uh, the audience will come and experience what they experience but if they come a week later they may experience something something different. Yeah.